Hello everyone and welcome to a quick guide. Um, just as I set up this first person project, um, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a quick and dirty uh, fire mode um, project. So essentially, in fire modes, you can have single shot, burst mode, fully automatic. Um, this will be uh, a very cheap and easy way of doing it. it there's probably better ways of doing it, there's probably a right way of doing it, but this is one of the ways that I've implemented it into simple games that I make, little setups. It's never caused me any issues, so uh, it shouldn't cause you any issues, but um, again, it's not a... It's my way of doing it. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Uh, this is a quick guide, um, so I'm not going to explain every little detail, but I'm going to try and get through it as best as I can. So what I've done, I've opened up this basic template, I've opened up the player character uh, blueprint, which is the first person character. Now before I go back into that, I just want to right click here and open up blueprints and then I want to click on enumeration and I'm just going to put E underscore fire mode. And that'll be fine, I'm just going to open that, I'm going to press new three times. And I'm just going to give these the appropriate name, so I'm going to have a single. I'm going to have a burst and I'm going to have full auto. Hit save and then close that and we're done. Okay, so um, first let's set up um, how we can change it. So if, for example, I'm going to put the F key. Um, now I've hard coded the F key in here, but what I would recommend you do is go to your project settings, go to input and go to your action mapping and add a new map in and let, let's just do it let's call it fire mode and let's set the key to keyboard and f so fire mode am i going to need anything else no that should be it so let's go back get rid of that now and let's press fire mode so we've got fire mode when we press that we're going to want to change our e fire mode e, uh, fire mode so we're going to want to switch the fire mode so um, we're going to need to make a reference to our fire mode so we can set it so let's press add for a variable and let's call this uh, weapon fire mode and you want to click on the little red bean and you want to find your e fire mode enumerator so this should now be the class enumerator uh, fire mode we can drag this in let's get it yeah so the current one's going to be that when we press the button oh. yep and when we uh, when we switch to single we're going to want to set to single when we set to burst we got to burst and then finally we're going to want to go to full auto and just for some giggles let's do print string at the end let's copy that there and I should have moved that before I did that oh, there we go and we pop that into there and then we can see if that's working as intended uh, compile and the fire mod key was F okay so what we actually want to do is we want to set these um, to the next available one so if we're in single it's going to set it to burst and if we're in burst we're going to set it to full auto and if we're in full auto we're going to set it to single and that actually uh, you know because the fire mode is then set to that previous one it'll go down this channel and set it to the next one so now if we hit player and we've got f we've got burst f full auto f single and we keep cycling through them now let's do something with that selection. So let's just highlight all that, uh, press C, and let's put set 
fire mod. So we've got that. At this point now you can disconnect your string because it's doing it automatically. I hate that. Next. So we're actually going to want to not fire the projectile just like that. We're going to need to make a custom script for that. So um, what we want to do is we want to, instead of going from the, the, the mouse click, we want to do a custom event and just put fire weapon. Fire weapon. And then what we'll do, we'll call this slightly differently. So now when we click, um, if we go for switch uh, fire mode, so when we press that, depending on the fire mode that we are, if we're going to do in a single, we just want fire weapon. So by default we're set to single, so this shouldn't look any different whatsoever. If we're fully auto, uh, what we want to do is we want to do a timer. So we want to set a timer by event and that timer we're going to want to do um, let's say every second, let's loop it. Let's make a reference to this timer. So we'll do, come on, full auto timer. The reason we want to do this, we want to get a, a, a reference to this timer is because when we stop um, pressing the fire button, we're going to want to release that. So drag that timer over there and we want to clear and invalidate the timer. So essentially, instead of just having a button that says stop, we need to clear the timer. Because this will loop forever and it will keep firing bullets otherwise. And the event we want to do is... It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Let's just put auto fire. And then all we want to do is fire weapon. As basic as that. So if we're in auto mode, we're going to set a timer, get it going, get it looping every second, and every second it's going to fire a weapon. When we release, it's then going to clear itself. So if we go to now set, uh, hang on, what have we done here? Why is my fire mode not setting? Oh, it is setting. It's just not telling me it's setting because I believe I got rid of the. So that's single, that's burst. Oh, I'm an empty. I have not connected the um, fire mode. So it's always on single. Okay, maybe a second's not quick enough. 0.2. So, <coughs> we've got single. If I press F, burst mode is blank, and then auto. That's perfect. So now you've got auto, so let's do burst. So burst I'm going to be a little bit cheeky with. Um, do I want to do a macro or... Let's do a macro. Let's do burst fire. Import is going to be an execute and output oh, is going to be an execute. And an input as well, I'm going to have a duration. Duration, duration. No, it don't matter. Um, in, out. Okay. So what we're gonna want to do now? This is sketchy. So we're gonna want to fire weapon. 
Now this is where it gets sketchy and I said it was going to be sketchy. We're going to want to delay. By the duration. And then we rinse and repeat. So a burst is typically free. So we're going to do this three times. Now you could set up a loop if you feel like that's more efficient. But this is basic. This works. <laughs> so I'm not going to mess around with that. Get that duration over here. And then we go, then we out and out. There we go. So you go, you got a burst. So close your burst macro. Drag your burst macro out. So you've got an in and you've got a duration. So you want to promote that to a variable and call this burst duration. And you want to set that to something interesting like 0.1. And now when you set it single, burst, you can set that and manipulate it how you want. 0 0.2, might be a bit too much. A single, burst. Um, and what don't you want to happen? Um, oh yes, I guess you want to set up a boolean for saying is burst mode or is burst I guess burst you can name it what you want but you'll see what it does in a minute let's go to boolean drag this over to set so when you've bursted you want to be yes you're in burst mode and if you are in burst mode, I don't know, you don't want to do that there. My bad. Um, yeah, get rid of that. You actually want to put a branch. And you want it to be on that. So if you're in burst mode, it's false. You can burst. Once you're in burst, which would be here eh, no because you're now in burst and then when you come out you want to set burst to not in burst and essentially what you've done there is if I was in burst mode and I clicked clicked click you'd stack three bursts on top of each other so you'd fire like nine bullets in the same time you'd normally fire three so that prevents you stacking your bursts. So if I go to burst, I can't I can't stack it now, and because that duration is so small, uh, long, you can't tell what I'm doing. Okay. So that is pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, there you go. You've got a single, a burst, and an automatic. Hope that helped. Less than 10 minutes. That's a record for me. Thanks for watching. If it helped, consider subscribing. Press the like. Give me a comment. All your feedback's appreciated. And see you in another video.